Now, if I don't open the throttle it, uh, within three seconds, it, it shuts off. That's, that's, a, that's another safety feature. And it doesn't accelerate until I go above 50%. And then they, what they want you to do is take off quickly. All right, so it knows what you're doing. Oh, yeah. It's programmed. Can you get up to where we can see the roof of the apartment? <laughs> come look, come look at here. Military is way, way more sophisticated. This is a GPS and oh, the compass. Oh my gosh! And I have to calibrate the compass every time I go to a new spot, otherwise it gets confused. And of course the battery. This is a video transmitter here. And that's just a voltmeter, and this is a low voltage alarm. And then this is the receiver in the back. It's um, got a diversity antenna. That's where there's two antennas. And then the motors, and these are the motor controllers, and they get their commands from the from the computer. And when it's steady state, they're all running the same. But when it when you command it to go somewhere, then the, the motors change speed to, to make it go in that direction. And then the compass, I mean the comp the GPS, will also control the computer. So it'll make it stay right in one spot. So for it to turn, you've got to control well, the, got, the rotary. Yeah. Uh, well, I don't quite know how it can make itself turn, but it does it. But I can, I can go this way. I can go this way. Fantastic. And I can make it go that way. Let me so. see the camera. Show the. Camera. I've got a polarizing filter on it. Oh, cool. That's my little GoPro knockoff. And so and that'll turn side to side and move up and down. Well, it stays level like right, this, but the, regardless of what the uh, the camera can turn. Yeah. See. see, regardless of what the quadcopter is doing, the the camera stays right in one spot. So potentially you can record this and then. Oh yeah, absolutely. Later. There's a the the video camera has a, a recorder built into it. Yeah. But, uh, this is the computer is controlling that also. So it's just using an awe sensor or a level uh, sensor? Uh, it's, it's using a, a, a whole bunch of them, I think. I don't really know. <laughs> and so Explain can, it again. We can, well, this is the, they call this F, FPV, first person video. 
So the video from that camera is transmitted to here, and we can look at this and see and exactly what is being Put it into your uh, yeah. own computer, too? Well, uh, you could, but then, see, it's, really, it's being recorded on the camera, just like his is. Oh, okay. So, uh, oh, I've um, done an awful lot of research. Should have the red lights on here. There, oh, there we go. There we go. Now that we have uh, static, static. That's exactly what we want. So now I got to go through a whole. Uh, the outside rotates rather than the inside. Those are called outrunners. And, yeah. And they they actually uh, are quite a bit more efficient. Pulse width modulated. Yeah, than an inrunner. You could see them in this camera. You can see them when you rotate. You can see them changing speeds because oh, the, yeah. the, the okay. camera sampling, uh -huh. you know, the 30 frames per second. You can right. see them changing speed to hold it. Wow, pretty intense, huh? Yeah, the magnets are pretty strong. And they are very strong, and it's quite a routine in balancing. If you if you look at this, I figured out a way to balance the motors. You can see, I've got some. Uh, uh, aluminum adhesive backed aluminum foil stuck on there. I balance the propellers first, then I balance the motors, and now I'm going to go back and balance them as a unit. This LED, this LED is flashing as soon as it initializes. Flashing yellow, that's the, uh, that's the computer warming up. Believe it or not, it has to warm up. So while it's doing that, I'm going to check the balance, and we're off just a little bit. This is a heavier battery. Is this a 5 amp? No, it's a 3 amp. Okay. Now we let it, we let it cook. As soon as it's... Uh, you have to turn the transmitter on first. Because uh, if the thing fires... If the uh, helicopter fires up without... Uh, the radio on it, the motors could accidentally start up. And I'm going to turn on the camera. I can reach it. So, how do you move the camera? How do you, can you aim the camera okay. remotely? No, I can't do anything with it. It just stays on. Okay, now it's now it's warmed up, and now it's loading satellites. The, the red lights means. If it's two flashes, there's one flash, so it's got five of the six satellites. Um, now we're gonna uh, we're gonna calibrate the compass. And to do that I gotta get all the metal away from, from me. I rotate it 360 degrees, and then suddenly I get a green light, and that tells me to rotate it vertically 360 degrees. And when it goes out, that means we're ready to go. So now there's one more thing I have to turn on, and that's the home lock, which is the reverse sensing. And I do that by switch about six times. So now we're ready to go. Let's see if it runs. If it does. Okay, now do we have video? No, we don't. Why don't we have video? And the camera may have gone into standby. It does that. Do I have video? 
Yes. Okay. We have video. We'll put it oh, that's a remote for the camera. Okay. Yeah. We'll fire it up again. A lot to it. <laughs> now the way it flies is it, you know, they want you to pull it up. off the ground real quick and then and then hover. So that's what I'm gonna do. Oh, you can see the blade sh shifting speed in the camera. Oh, really? Yeah. Take it. So is that it for the battery? Is that what the red light was? Yeah, that means it's low. I could flat some more, but it's not a good idea. What, what's the battery voltage reading? 11.2. Yeah, I can go down to 10 volts. Does it get hot? The uh, motors are warm. The motors are warm. The batteries get warm. Well, that's driving a lot of current yeah, through those motors. Well, uh, when I go full throttle like that, accelerate up, it, it pulls about 30 amps. Oh, that little battery. <laughs> it's a massive amount of current. <laughs>